use every repetition. Yo, what's up everybody? I'm out here in the beautiful mountains in New Mexico right now. And I just today I wanted to bring up that topic to you to utilize every single rep every time you do any kind of workout of any kind. And I'll elaborate more on that right after this. Our bodies already know thoroughly how to develop. Our tissues already have a built-in innate intelligence that already knows how to grow and you already have it hardwired in that you can complete whatever movement, pretty much whatever movement it is that you want to complete. I see it all the time in a bunch of different gyms all over the world. I've seen it in every single instance. I've seen people not completing their repetition focused on sets. I'm not saying sets are bad. They're focused on, you know, five sets, five by tens, five by five, whatever. It doesn't matter. They're so focused on just getting the numbers in, just doing the workout, just making it hard, just exerting effort. And, and I'm not saying hard workouts are bad. No, I think there's a lot of evidence that hard workouts like the hit workouts work. The question is, are you trying to increase your capacity or threshold are you trying to pass say a PT test and you have to hit a certain number of push-ups or a certain number of pull-ups uh, for cows and just general muscular development uh, in total next time you're at the gym and you're trying to develop say your biceps for example and you're thinking to yourself okay well this if I just do a bunch of weight like this that's enough I'm here to tell you it will help you dramatically if you complete the repetition in its entirety full range of motion. If you're a fitness person, this is not uh, this is not a new thing for you. But I'm telling you, so many people miss out on the entirety of their, their body's development if you just utilize the entire range of motion, the entire repetition. The truth of the matter is, if you're only repping it half out, if you're only doing, you're only getting half the amount of development that you could get from each additional exercise. That means less workouts at the gym. That means, I don't want to say less effort, but it means less time invested, which means more time for you to go do other stuff. So if you're doing a thousand of half, half repetitions of whatever it is, you're just, I don't want to say you're wasting your time, but you're kind of just wasting your time. What matters is that if you do the full contraction, you give your body the entire opportunity to develop muscle all along the chain, all along the tissues, you help it to develop. You're giving it an opportunity to experience stress, that sort of evolutionary stress, that sort of uh, just the mechanical stress that the tissues need, because you are organic, you are not a robot, your limitations are not fixed. You are not stuck between some threshold that some coder decided or some engineer decided you have control over your limit. So the next time you're at the gym, I ask that you, when you're in your repetition, whatever it is, pull it to the point, maybe it's preacher curls in the case of the bicep that I'm sort of not really demonstrating, but kind of demonstrating right now. If it's a preacher curl, go to the point where you feel the most resistance, depending on whatever weight you're using. If you use one, you know you can complete. Wherever you're feeling the most resistance, hold it there and just push through that particular point. Maybe go back and go over it in the same way that a masseuse is going to go over like a tissue over and over again to try to loosen it out. In this way, we want you to develop strength in the areas that you are weak. So when you're doing the full range of motion, you're allowing yourself, you're like, oh, I'm good here, just at the 90 degree. It's uh, just at the 90 degree. I'm good here. I don't need to do any more. Well, I'm here to tell you, if you do the full repetition, you're developing strength all along the tissues. And as a result, you're going to ultimately be stronger. Your muscles are going to develop more. And if you're into growing, if you're into size, you're into gains or whatever, that creates an avenue for that as well. If you're if you're cutting off your range of motion by one inch, you're cutting off the capacity that your body has to develop tissues, to develop growth, to develop size, you know, for all that synthesis to happen. You're, you're denying it. You're denying it on a physical basis and pretty much, yeah, just a physical basis. <laughs> you're denying your body the ability to grow the way that it should and you are limiting your potential. So one more time on a final note, just remember to complete the repetition, right? Complete the repetition to the fullest. 
whatever. And if you can't complete it, get as close as you can to the rep, maybe drop the weight or whatever, but complete the rep, develop the tissues on the entirety of whatever the chain is that you're working, develop the whole muscle. Because if I shortchanging yourself and only developing part of the muscle, you're only developing part of yourself. And one of the things we want to do is just as a general theme is to develop the entirety of you at all times. That's the aim. And with that said, I'm here at the end of this trail here. And I wanted to say thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.